I'm Rudy and I'm a consultant uh, in the Netherlands and Belgium. I'm working the last few years on the topic of self-managing teams. And I want to make some comments on what I'm observing. Managers are very often very fond of self-managing teams and are implementing a new system in a kind of technocratic way. Uh, the hierarchy is uh, replaced by a horizontal uh, way of organizing labor. And the teams are called uh, result responsible teams. In fact, the hierarchy is replaced by a horizontal way of organizing and uh, people are again in fact used as resources to obtain results. The question why in God's sake should we defend that development is often not asked. Of course there are arguments like finance, new types of leadership, uh, trying to motivate people. But what is really happening in our society at this moment and why are self-managing teams in the first place so popular? Well, in my opinion, what I'm observing is that a new kind of verticality wants to emerge. Not the patriarchal or hierarchical organization, but an existential longing to belong to a larger whole. The old-fashioned way of creating hierarchy is replaced by an existential verticality, which all has to do with finding meaning in life. If I belong to a larger whole, life becomes and labor becomes meaningful for me. So the why question, why should we defend self-managing teams, has to do with the question, are self-managing teams a better way of capturing that new existential longing? If that is not the case, if self-managing teams are only a technocratic way of working together, then uh, I'm not in at all. If self-managing teams are able to capture that existential longing and uh, are creating a context for people to find meaning, to belong to a larger whole, then self-managing teams is amazing. So the question why has to be asked. What is the deeper development in how we organize labor, in how we motivate ourselves to connect, to belong to a larger whole, which is the organization? Try to connect with that existential longing. Focus on the personal development of people. That's my contribution.